Hello and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. On this episode, we're going to be making two recipes very quickly from the Pools Diner cookbook uh, because we haven't made this yet and well, it's super simple. We're going on a vacation tomorrow. It'll be way before you guys see it. It'll, that will be over. Um, but we have some bib lettuce in the refrigerator that we either need to take with us or use up. So we're gonna use it up today. And we're going to be making a bib lettuce salad, which uses the red wine vinaigrette that's also in this book. Um, we have made, yeah, we made the sweet onion vinaigrette before. I'll link that up here. We did that with her method. I'm not gonna be doing that today because I'm just trying to get this done. Um, and I, quite often make my vinaigrettes this way. Super simple, throw things in, shake it up, works really well. Plus, we don't quite have all of the correct ingredients for this, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, the first thing we need to do for the vinaigrette, however, is to soak our uh, they're supposed to be shallots, but we didn't have any shallots. We usually do happen to be all out right now. Um, but I have minced a red onion, a really small half of a really small red onion, and I'm going to measure it out into this jar. I think it's like a two cup, um, pint, pint, no, half pint, no, whatever. It's a two cup jar. I forget what those are called, um, but yeah. So it'll hold all of the ingredients that we need it to hold here. Um, and so I'm gonna put this, these are standing in for our shallots. You can use anything you have. That this sort of lets you know you can use what you have. Um, I might, I might have put a little bit of garlic in if I really wanted to, because shallots have a little bit of a garlic flavor. We're just gonna leave it with the red onions for right now. And this is red wine vinegar. This is nothing special. It's not the Banyuls vinegar, although I think we've done the Banyuls vinaigrette as well with a different recipe. I know we've done it because I still have some. I'll link that up here um, when I figure out what it was. So uh, we need to let this sit for 15 minutes and that will sort of uh, put some of the oniony flavor into the vinegar and reduce some of the bite from the onion. So we're just gonna let that marinate for 15 minutes. While that's marinating, I'm gonna get the rest of the ingredients for my salad prepared. Uh, first, I'm gonna measure out the oil that we need for the vinaigrette in the same measuring cup, cause why not? They're all getting mixed together in the end. I am using avocado oil because I've had this for a while and I just need to use it up. Um, but any neutral vegetable oil, often I'll use grapeseed oil, um, canola oil, anything that you like to use that isn't super flavorful. You want the flavor to come from the vinegar and the onions. And that's about it. Um, so I measured that out, letting this sit. Now I need to take care of the lettuce for the salad part. Let me get that. So we have some kind of small heads of big lettuce here. We are going to, these are all, they still have the roots attached. They, they last a pretty long time because of that. Um, I'm going to be pulling them off some of them have bits uh, where they are a little not perfect. I'll take care of that uh, later, just because I don't feel like it right now. Um, we are leaving these leaves whole, however, and I'm going to put these in my salad spinner, sort of all of those, and then all of these. We're deliberately leaving these whole and they're going to stay whole. All right, there we go. Now, I saw something new about how you're actually supposed to use these salad spinners. 
first I'm going to uh, rinse it not in here and then I'm going to fill it up, fill it up with water inside the bowl. And um, when everything sort of is clear, then I'm going to um, drain it and spin it. So I've never done that before. Apparently I'm using it wrong. We'll see how that works. I just wanna see and I'm gonna put it on camera just in case. Um, I don't see a bunch, a bunch of dirt. There's a little bit in there, so I'm not, I don't, I think these, this lettuce in particular, I think is hydroponically grown. I'm not positive, but there's not a whole lot of dirt. So I'm going to drain it and then spin it to try to get it as dry as possible. Very wet. Um, this is gonna require several spins to get it pretty dry, but. I like to spin it once and then let all the water out. So there's an awful lot of water there. And then just spin it until I think it's dry. Okay. Now it's a little damp, but not too bad. I'm gonna call that good. And I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I have a very large bowl here. Um, and I'm going to be making sure that our lettuce doesn't have any yucky pieces that I don't want to eat. And if it does, I'm gonna pull them off, throw them away, but mostly try to keep it whole. So like this is, this is kind of yucky. So tossing it in the sink for now, I'll take care of it later. Um, this one has just a little bit of a, a, a little bit uh, of yucky on the edge. So that's not a big deal, so. I'm just picking through it, making sure I only put stuff that I want to eat in this bowl. Um, we might end up with a little bit less lettuce than we are supposed to have for this, um, but it'll be plenty for, for our purposes. That's enough. We have our lettuce in here. It's probably not quite as much as I'm supposed to have for this recipe, but we'll do. We still have about four minutes to wait for our um, marinating onions here. Okay, I have about four minutes left on my timer, probably less now, but I'm not gonna do anything else until my dressing is done. Okay, got about another minute left. Timer's gonna go off any minute now. I'm gonna go ahead and start the rest of my stuff. Um, I'm supposed to add just a pinch of salt. She says to use sea salt. I'm using my usual kosher, kosher salt. And we're gonna add some um, Dijon mustard. I'm just gonna get that. There we go. Now I don't need this anymore. It's going in the dish. It's going in sick. Okay, so she has you whisk this in a bowl. I'm gonna shake this up to start my uh, emulsion. There we go. Um, and now, instead of slowly pouring this in, uh, I'm gonna pour it all in. You're supposed to slowly pour it in while you whisk. I'm just pouring it all in because this is how I make it at home and it works. You can look at the sweet onion vinaigrette video, which I've already linked and hopefully will be also down below um, to, to watch me slowly pour it in and whisk and it's kind of a thing. So I'm just gonna shake this until I think it's good. See, dressing. That's good for now. I'm gonna taste it. She says to use a spoon. I like to use, I'm gonna use a little piece of lettuce. Taste it. It needs salt. Tastes very vinegary, but I don't get enough salt. So, and then I'm gonna shake it up again. So 
So that is it for the red wine vinaigrette. And the good thing about this is I can put this in my refrigerator, whatever we don't use, because we are not gonna use the whole batch for this salad. Um, whatever we don't use goes in the refrigerator. And before I use it again, I just shake it up. Now we've washed and thoroughly dried our lettuce. We are supposed to add some salt. I don't think I have quite as much as she says. So I'm gonna go with not quite as much salt as she says. Still seems like quite a bit. And pepper. All right, so there's that. You're supposed to mix with your hands to distribute the salt and pepper. And now, I'm supposed to measure this vinaigrette before I put it in. Again, I think I have less than I'm supposed to. So, um, what I'm gonna do is measure it. I'm gonna pour it in here, the amount she says, and then I'm just gonna pour from there um, some of it and toss it, what I think it probably needs which is probably about half. Um, Cause I feel like I just, my lettuce heads were not as large. Yeah, that's plenty of dressing for this. So there we go. Those are nicely coated. Um, we're supposed to divide this into four plates and um, I'm gonna wash my hands, combine my uh, dressing again into this container so I can put it in the refrigerator and then we're gonna plate it. So let me wash my hands. In order to not feel like I need to wash my hands again before I touch the cheese and the uh, grater, I'm going to use my tongs here to sort of pile up these full lettuce leaves. Like I said, we're gonna do one big salad um, instead of four separate ones, but we're we want this to be piled high. We want these leaves to be all separate, all whole. There we go. So that's our salad. And all we have to add now is quite a lot of Parmesan. Um, I don't know that this is even as much as I'm supposed to add. I'm gonna add until it looks like a lot. So, uh, cause I feel like we have about half the salad. So I'm gonna add about as half as much as she says. So now Parmesan finely grated all over top until it looks like way too much. At least that's what the pictures look like to me. Because this is that simple of a salad. But I think that, I think that looks like too much. So it's probably just enough. There we go. That's our salad. It was all pretty simple, made it in just over 15 minutes and it only took that long because I was supposed to wait 15 minutes for the onions, for the red onion vinaigrette. But there we go. That's our bib salad. We'll let you know in just a minute what we think. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watched me make this bib lettuce salad that we have demolished. Um, and the red wine vinaigrette from the uh, Pools Honor Cookbook by Ashley Christensen and Caitlin Golden. Um, it was a very simple salad. So really uh, probably the ingredients have to be, well, don't have to be, but the better your ingredients are, the better the salad is gonna be. It was really good. I think I might've put almost too much salt on the uh, leaves themselves. That's just sort of a, proportion problem because like I said, I think I had less uh, of the bib lettuce than the recipe calls for, even though it was, it started out what she said as far as the amount. Mine might have, my heads might have been smaller than the ones that she uses, whatever. I definitely needed about uh, half of the dressing because it was well dressed with that. Um, we did end up adding a few croutons that I had made previously and we just had sitting around, um, but we did try it without that. 
it's a very nice, simple salad, something that you could throw together um, on a weeknight very easily. You can have that dressing sort of sitting in the refrigerator waiting to go um, and wash up your lettuce, shred some cheese, it's all done. I like my method for the uh, vinaigrette. It worked out just fine, just as it does every time I do it at home. Usually I don't measure the oil and vinegar. I usually make it in a Dijon mustard jar that's been, you know, cleaned out. And I estimate based on the words on the jar, how much I use, but uh, ratio is usually about three parts oil to one part. Um, vinegar. Sometimes I'll go up to two to one. Um, so a little bit more vinegar. Either way. Um, I like that method. I really don't like the whisking method. So just it's, it's a lot of stuff and your bowl likes to move and whatever. So simple just to shake it up. So at home, that's what I prefer. Um, but yeah, super simple, easy salad. And uh, it, the presentation is really beautiful um, with the, the leaves piled high. So it's a little bit, a little bit fancy, a little bit impressive if you want to have guests and want to you know, make a simple salad. And it doesn't take that long. We made it in about 15 minutes, no problem. So only because we had to wait 15 minutes for the onions to sort of mellow out in the vinegar. Anyway. If you enjoyed watching me make this, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and come back and watch me make something else next week.